What's up, guys? Welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And we have Jasmine with us here today. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> hey. How does it feel being out of the villa? It is surreal. I, you know, like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, wait, like, I'm not supposed to put my mic on? Like, there's no boys to look at right now? Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, I know. It's a weird adjustment coming back. You're like, wait, it's I'm not here anymore. You get so used to it. It is because it's like, you know, you're like in that routine of like waking up, drooling over boys, maybe like drinking a smoothie, drilling over boys again, hanging out with the girls. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's weird. My favorite thing to always ask people when we interview them is how did you end up on a show? Like, did you apply? How did it all come about? So I got DM'd on my Instagram, which was like super weird too, because I don't have like, I didn't have a lot of followers on Instagram to begin with. Like I had like a thousand and I got DM'd and then here I am. Like I honestly too was like, this isn't going to happen. Like there's no way like I would make it out of like all these people. And then I was just unapologetically me and like fucking weird and they loved it. <laughs> I would say that was so cool to watch too. Like I felt like when we were watching you, we could almost tell like, she's probably like that outside of the villa as well. Like you think you stayed very true to yourself. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Like that's one thing with me too. It's just like I don't want to fake who I am. Like, like what you see is what you get. And mm -hmm. I, you know, always used to like cover up my like crazy fun side and I feel like it bit me in my ass you know with my ex-boyfriend because like I could never bring out that crazy fun side <laughs> you you were pretty upfront about that like I think we got a clip of you saying to Victor you were like do you like to party <laughs> and he was like no and you were like I like to party like I like my nights <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely I saw that too I was like what's your biggest ick yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, ew, like, I love to party. I never want to change that. Like, I want a man that can be, like, as crazy as I am and, like, want to go out, you know? Like, yeah, nights at home are fun, but, like, also, like, so is dancing on a bar. Like, that's fucking <laughs> And you live in Nashville too, right? Yeah. So like, it's like living in Nashville. I mean, it's like, that's really That comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah. Like... You just, you got to do what you got to do on Broadway. <laughs> oh, literally. I'm like, I've learned to be a sneaker girl in Nashville. You know, when I first moved there, I was wearing high heels and I fell one too many times on Broadway. So like, I mean, I've turned into a sneaker girl there. Like, it's just changed me. <laughs> You're a seasoned vet. You're a seasoned vet. But really okay, am. going off of Victor, I literally have to know what happened between the first day and the second day where... You were like, nope, we're not interested in each other at all. And then you're like, oh, no, 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 we are. We're interested in each other. Where did the connection come from? Was it <laughs> as random as it seemed? It it really was so random. I feel like it like I had to really be vulnerable because I like being honest like he was not my type like yeah. not like the normal guy I would go for um and like I'm always the type of person to like I gotta sleep on things so like I kind of like slept on it and I really appreciated the fact that he was like respectful in my boundaries so like I told him like I don't want to cuddle like I'm not comfortable doing that and the fact that he respected that was actually like really sexy to me um and then like you know, he would just, like, take the time to, like, listen to me, and I don't know. I, I am absolutely shocked right now hearing you say this about him, because all the things you're saying you like about him, I don't know if you're up to speed or not. Are you? with? No, I, I'm binge-watching tonight with my mom. I'm, like, okay. a wine girl. And okay, we won't <laughs> spoil it. Yeah, not to spoil it, but uh, Carmen is kind of saying quite the opposite is happening with Victor. I, I have actually seen that like on my Instagram and I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm gonna have to talk <laughs> some more. But I feel Definitely. like Carmen, like she kind of, like they instantly started like cuddling. Like they in like it's like they almost didn't set boundaries with each other. Whereas mm -hmm. that was the first thing I did. Yeah. Okay. I was getting to know Victor was like, yeah, I'm not okay with doing this, this. Cause it's like if I'm not like 
feeling you. We're, we're not cuddling. Like, I'm not doing that. It killed me when you were like, so are you going to have sex on TV? They, they did a little clip dying. of you doing that. And I literally laughed out loud. That is such a question that everyone asks each other. And they never show yeah. it. They don't ever show, <laughs> but we do always ask that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like too, like, I mean, I really wanted to break the ice. Like, I just feel like, yeah, like our our connection was just so surface level. And I'm like, let's get deep. Like, let's get dark, dude. I want to know. Talking (laughs) about getting deep. Who did you connect with most in the villa? We saw you and Anna really have a great friendship. And we're kind of sad, like, we're not going to see more of it on our screen. She is literally everything, you know, and I feel like her and I just vibe together because our personalities are the same. Like what started like the blossoming of our friendship was literally the night she kissed me. I I didn't just like, I honestly didn't think she was. I forgot about that too. Yes. Like it took me by surprise. Like I I didn't just like picture her like doing that, you know, like, I I don't know. I just didn't see it coming. And when she did that, I was like, holy shit, this badass bitch. So like, (laughs) Our friendship just like blossomed after that. And she would just like do weird shit that I would do. Like she <laughs> like there was this one time like I walked past her and I'm like, oh my God, like it smells like shit. And she's like, I farted. And I'm like, that is so me. Like who like, like do we <laughs> say mom? Like, what <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And going Incredible. off of that, like you guys instantly kind of well, not instantly, but we got to see that friendship form. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of that other than YouTube amongst the girls. Is that kind of the vibe that we're just seeing on our TV or is that how it feels there? I honestly feel like it feels like that there because like there's just like some like shady shit, you know, Mm -hmm. like I feel like that would happen amongst the girls and Anna and I were pretty like true to each other, you know, Mm -hmm. because like I, for example, like thought Leo was really cute and I feel like our personalities were very similar as well um but like I purposely didn't shoot my shot on that because I respected Anna and like I feel like a lot of some of the girls in there like for example like Cassie like she would not respect those boundaries you know what I mean so it's just like not a lot of the girls got as close yeah do you wish you had shot your shot with Leo or no are you no, happy. I'm I'm happy because he's Leo's fucking awesome, but he's also like really young, you know. Yeah. So it's like, sure. I I don't know. I want an older, crazier man. How old are you? <laughs> How old are you again? I'm about to turn 25, so I'm 25 oh, right now. Saying, yeah, I'm a Leo baby, but yeah. Ooh. Like, Ooh. yeah. I kind of want a man that's like in his 30s, like stable, but like also psycho. <laughs> I know. I feel like there was no one that really came in that felt like a direct match for you. Like I thought maybe yeah. Harrison, but like other than yes. that, I just didn't. I was like, there isn't someone that kind of like clicks yet. Yeah, like Harrison was extremely sexy. Like I'll give him that, mm-hmm. but there was no depth to him. Oh, like, okay. I, like he just wasn't crazy like me. Like, like what I were the like conversations I, like? They were like, him? "What's your family like?" And, like, <laughs> what do you do for fun? And <laughs> What are your hobbies? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite cocktail? Like, <laughs> like it was just so surface level. And, it's, and what was annoying, too, and, like, I really pay attention to this, is, like, he, like, didn't ask me questions. Like, it was more like I was – I felt like I was putting more into the conversations with him. And, mm-hmm. like, into, like, when – like, because, like, I say some, like, off-the-wall shit, and I can tell if people get uncomfortable. And, yeah, he was just, like – I could tell at some points he's, like, dude, is this girl, like, on crack? Like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> yeah. So would you say, like – were you shocked when he picked destiny instead of you? Like you knew no. it was coming. I knew it was coming. I mean, Anna clearly didn't because that girl was crying. I know. Oh my gosh. Even with Marco t- like telling you he's gonna pick you, he's gonna pick you. Or were you just like, this is just Marco being Marco? Or 
Yeah, I felt like that was just like a Marco thing, you know? I <laughs> all the boys wanted me to stay just because I do feel like I was like one of the guys too, you know? Yeah. And I, mm-hmm. that way I grew up with brothers. Like it's just easy for me to vibe and be like one of the guys. But um I I knew like it wasn't as strong because like I watched him and Destiny like dance and he would also do like little gestures with her where he would like put his hand on her leg and mm-hmm. for example didn't do that with me so I read into like those little things yeah that's fair mm-hmm. but it's like, yeah my person like wasn't in there but I'm like Love Island like put me in again like do I, something crazy. I was gonna ask that I was like would you ever go back yeah I definitely would I feel like the process to like uh, revealed a lot a lot of things like about myself like it's like I'm normally not vulnerable that quick but you as you guys know like the process moves so fast so it's like yeah have to open yourself up which was weird as fuck to me but um yeah I feel yeah. like I can be softer faster but um mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm, I hate those questions like what's your credit score oh. what's like? your credit score no I definitely <laughs> agree with you I think if you don't open up quickly then like the shows you're just not gonna work it's just not gonna work because you only have so much time to kind of make decisions for things and like start building your relationships Mm -hmm. that if you're not open and opening then you're gonna be like not doing well yeah like I feel like I had a little bit more time I could have with Harrison but oh you do you do do you feel like guys that came in what'd you say I said too bad it wasn't like two guys that came in yeah period that would have been fucking nice (laughs) (laughs) what were some of your favorite things to do like give us the lowdown of what you did in the villa tell tell everyone the behind the scenes yeah what were you missing (laughs) i ate a lot of grapes i mean the fridge had a lot of fucking grapes i literally i made so many comments i'm like if i like eat any more grapes i'm gonna turn into a grape like there were (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like fresh fruit in the fridge and I was just like grapes and what's crazy is my sister-in-law's choked on grapes twice so I really should stay away from grapes but so there was that um I loved like there was a dope ass bathtub I got in that bathtub with Leo and Anna and I don't know if they aired it but no. um, so I got into this bathtub this was so funny. And I just stared at Leo and Anna and I sat in the bathtub and I didn't say anything. And then I go, sorry, I just had to pee. And then I stood up <laughs> and got out of the bathtub. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> it was so funny. Were they dying? Yeah, they were, Leo was like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually pee? No, I should have. Oh, I, yeah, you should have. But <laughs> you're never living that. Do- you're never like living that. that down. No, I was like, I am absolutely feral. So there was that. <laughs> um, what about like the other locations in the villa? Like, did you hang out at the beach or in the pool or like, did you work out at the gym? No working out for me. I was like, I can't do this. I can't. Um, I liked laying on like the day beds in the morning and I would literally just like sunbathe. Like I turned into, uh, even though I hate cats, you know how cats just like lay in the sun. Like that's literally what I would do all day. I would just lay there all day. Did you pick up any objects with your toes? No, surprisingly, I should have. You really should have. Yeah. Real life talent of mine. I mean, sometimes like I'll flush the toilet with my toes, you know, like the fucking handle <laughs> little <trick shot. laughs> what did you think of fiji they didn't have ranch dressing it did <laughs> really cold at night too like okay i, was I actually realized that you guys were talking about how you needed jackets and all that kind of stuff i was so shocked it was like we it was really hair. that cold yes like my nipples could cut glass like it was just it, it was like warm during the day but like if it got like windy like it it was freezing it was freezing and oh like at gosh. Night, I wanted to wear pants at like you know the ceremonies and shit like it, it got cold did you watch other seasons of Love Island no <laughs> okay. so did you go in blind not knowing anything about it yeah and I did that because like I didn't want to be biased on how I should act or what I should yeah. say 
That's so fair. I kind of just wanted like an open mindset. Um, I did have people though, like that have watched it and they kind of like would like explain it to me, but like, I just, yeah, pretty much went in blind. So like, like for example, it's like, I wasn't used to like having to like talk to somebody all day, pretty much, you know, like to build relationships with people and getting there. That was a really big reality check. I'm like, I just want to sit in a corner and not talk to anyone all day. And it's like, that's not an option. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah. You gotta be it absolutely to is not. You have to, uh, yeah. you have to have the surface level conversations. what do you think yeah. of the games? What games did you have again? So I was there for, I mean, there was just, there was a lot of kissing games. I mean, like the first night where we pulled like phones out of the basket, but then there was yeah. like one big game where we, it was like school, like school education. Yeah, yeah. So the one game was super fun, like the school one, but I'm so surprised. Like Leo knew more sex positions than me. Like who knew cowgirl was an actual position? Like I was like, what? Like that's a common one, no? I didn't even, I was just like. I would have thought like top, you know. Come on, Nashville. I know. My dumb, <laughs> what the I mean, hell? I just be like, you know, I black out sometimes when I'm having sex, girl. Like we have sex on a toilet, on the counter, in the kitchen. Like she's that's, flushing with her toes and <laughs> yeah, like that's my sex position. So I'm oh like, like that. Ugh. Yeah. So I was like, huh? Like I don't know the names. Yeah, he he beat me, and then having to get dunked in that tank that actually gave me a lot of anxiety. Like I was like not prepared. Oh my gosh. I oh, forgot yeah. that you guys like did dunk that. Tank. I liked that yeah. it was dunk tank stuff. We yeah, one, that was fun. We did one that was like that too. What are your thoughts on like Carmen and Bergie and Cassie and Bergie? So I just like a Cassie and Bergie. I don't think it's legit. Like, yeah. and I'm just going to call it out. And like, I've honestly like had my thoughts on Bergie. I think he's a great guy, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like, I feel like it's so like so much better not to lead a person on just to stay in the game. And I feel like that's what Cassie is doing. She has never ever like expressed interest in him, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, all of a sudden it's recoupling night and you're trying to build this relationship. Like it's just very forced and premeditated to me. Carmen, Carmen has said um, that, like, she has, you know, since she's been in the villa, she has expressed interest in Bergie. I know she's oh. really drawn to him, you know, for his, um, you know, just because he's a very good guy. And I, I do believe that Carmen, you know, does, you know, want Bergie. But it's like, Cassie, no, I don't believe that. Mm-mm. Yeah. Do you think okay, this was another question someone submitted? Do you think that Anna and Leo will last? Um, absolutely. Because really, I really don't Leo's like a weirdo, and so is Anna. Like Leo can actually like handle Anna's weirdness. Like, like their connection felt so strong to you that you don't think either of their heads will turn? No. Well, if anyone had if anyone's head would turn, it would be Leo's. Just because okay. he's He's young. He's the player. It's just what he does. How old is he? Yeah, how old is he again? Twenty one. Oh, sh- yeah. oh, yeah. How old yeah. Anna? Yeah, huh? Uh, Twenty two. So, oh, I mean, okay. she seems yeah. so much older. Like, so yeah, much she, more does. Mature. yeah. yeah. she does. Yeah, like the Rotterdam wedding dress. I feel like. <laughs> Wait, did she actually? Yeah, it's like this silk white dress. Oh my god! I yeah. thought she was making a joke. No, I thought she that was dead serious. serious. No. Yep. I'm like, wow, you were my kind of Incredible. crazy. Like, I would I <laughs> think of that. I'm like, oh, it's fuck. giving Mallory. <laughs> I literally, like, she just gives me life. So much life. I miss that girl. I'm like, Anna, can we just couple up and just, you know, chill? Honestly. Just hang out and watch all the drama. I was like, I don't want to move beds. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to lose you. That's the worst when you do have to do that. You don't have your friend next to you. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, yeah, because were your beds next to each other at first? We were able to sleep in the same bed. We were in the same ah, bed. Ah, yeah. that's I mean, nice. We, we had a night or two like that. Like, you have your sister, you know? Like, she's just, mm-hmm. literally, when I left, I was just like, you're my sister. Like, she's just oh. grown to be that person for me. And it's so crazy because it's in such a short amount of time, but... 
Yeah. We were talking about this with one of our friends and we said it's basically like dog years. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to take the days as dog years. So it's like nine days. That's nine years at yeah. this point. Like, you know, everything about them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, I knew like what time of day she needed to take a shit. Like, I knew all about <laughs> stomach problems. Oh, fuck. Big ass B. Um, yeah, I knew everything about that girl. So it's I just... know it's we love that about Love Island, too. It's like you go there thinking you're going to get just like a romantic relationship and then you get so many like friendships too and it's mm -hmm. so cute and I yeah. love watching it afterwards like I can't wait to see you guys meet up once she comes home from Fiji and like do stuff in the real world it'll be I love watching I it I'm like it'll you be just so fun now like <laughs> <laughs> you're like no, do something to piss America off or yeah. ju just come home yeah I'm like leave please we need to go to St. <laughs> <laughs> wait does she actually live there yes Okay, yeah. because I was so confused. I thought she lived in Florida. So she does school in Florida, but lives like her parents are in same parts, I think. Yeah. Okay. Party at Anna's house. Come I know. On. I'm like, girl, I need the sun turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have some like fast questions too. Um, I who do you think was giving more red flags IRL, Carmen or Victor? Victor. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite bar in Nashville? Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. I cannot. <laughs> I'm like, these questions are all over the place. Someone said who out of the OG girls was the most snakiest? I think it said. Cassie. Okay. Um, what was your favorite memory you made in the villa? Getting in the bathtub with Leo and Anna and acting like I pissed in it. Uh, Chris, Gom Chris Gomez five said, can you answer my DM? <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many DMs, but I will look really? for it. That, that was, was the next question. Anyone interesting? Actually, yeah. I've had a couple like fellow Islanders from can you like name drop, please. Seasons. Can you name drop them? <laughs> I don't know if I should name drop yet. <laughs> Give us the exclusive. Give, give um, the people what they want. Huh? I said, give the people what they want. <laughs> oh, can I name drop yet? I'm like, can I what? guess? Yeah, you can guess. And if you guess right, then I'll say yes. Carrington. <gasps> uh, <laughs> how did you get that? How did I get that? Guess? Literally on the because I was gonna guess the, maybe like go Johnny or Jeremiah. Is there more like, than one? Yes, actually. All from the same season? I, I don't know because I didn't watch. Oh, right. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it there. Weston? Let's Weston? No. No. I don't know. I, it's a Tyler. Oh, oh he's yeah. Hot. Wait, he was liking all your stuff too. Even when the cast first dropped, I'm pretty sure I saw Tyler comment on one of the photos like fire like about Oh, you. really? Yeah. He's so hot. I'm like, he's yes! so hot. Is yeah. he in your area? I don't know. Okay, we've got to set that up. Be. I could totally be pulling that out of my ass. I, I think yeah, I think you be. did. I think I did. I'm but... so about it. I'm like, I'm like, I yeah, he lives on your street. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Love Island. Please put us in a game together. <laughs> like, would you ever do All Stars? Hell yeah, I would do everything. Oh my gosh, my ass is sweating. Yeah, I, I feel do everything. That. I mean, it was so fun. And I feel like now it's like a Love Island family. Like, I just feel like we're all united. <laughs> united we yeah. stand as yeah. one in Love Island. I love it. Someone wrote uh, more details about her revenge sex fun fact. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That yeah, was wild. People, people like went nuts over that. So like it really wasn't as serious as it sounded. Like I had actually written more context to it. It just didn't get put on the card. So it was it wasn't an ex-boyfriend. It was just a guy I was talking to in high school and he was supposed to take me to prom and he didn't. And he has a brother that's super hot. And I was like, Ugh. You know, so I stopped talking to him. Obviously, we had had sex because we were talking. And then 
I don't know. Like, I was at a party, like, a few months later, and his brother was there. And I was like, you're looking really fine. And it's like, we also live in a really small town. So it's like, I mean, you really only have options to choose between brothers and cousins and (laughs) first cousins, second cousins. Like, you know, like, my graduating class was nine day. Like, what what do they think? Oh, I wow. Yeah. Drop some hot boys out of the fucking air. No. Yeah, what's one to do with that? Right. So, Fuck his I brother. Mean, this family must have some good genes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, they do. I'm like, wow, beautiful. And big wiener. <laughs> big wieners, queen. But I had sex <laughs> with his brother. And it was good. And then six months later... I had <laughs> his cousin. You're like, and then six months later, I realized Knowingly? there was a cousin. No, yeah, I I knew. Well, yeah, because like it's just such a small town. I mean, everyone knows everyone. You know, that's okay. actually crazy that it's, it's that yeah. small. Oh yeah, so everyone knew my business. Like honestly, my hometown's probably watching this and knows exactly who the people are. One oh, hundred. Like, there's uh, no there... doubt that guy is walking around bragging about this oh, yeah. happening on TV. Are there exactly. any more in the family that are like, oh, no, she's coming for me next? No, actually. I think I got I got all the cute ones. That was it. <laughs> what about his dad? His dad is pretty hot. <laughs> I just haven't done ads, you know? <laughs> yeah, you haven't crossed that threshold yet. You have yeah. time. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you have time. You have time. I, I just want to know what your relationship with Victor was like. My relationship with Victor was so weird. Like, it was <laughs> so weird because it's, like, right on a jump. Like, obviously, I didn't pick him. Um, he's not my typical type. Like, I like, I think he's a great guy, but, like, I'm a lot, and he was not, you know? So it's mm-hmm. just, like, I couldn't picture us outside of the villa, like, partying, you know? Like, I feel like we just, like, sit on a couch and watch TV, and that's it. But like our like like so like the first after the recouple or after the coupling ceremony, you know, when everything first started, I was sitting down like on the beanbags talking to him, and I had to ask him every single question. Like Mm -hmm. he didn't ask any questions. Like it it was so hard to talk to him. Everything was so forced. With Carmen said the same thing. She said she was asking all the questions. So annoying. I'm like, do you have anything to ask me? Like, what is my favorite color? Like, come on, you know. Jasmine, you even asked him for a kiss. (gasps) Yes, you did. Was that awkward? No, because I felt like at that point, like we kind of had like a really good conversation leading up to that, and like the day, like we just had like little flirty moments. So like it just felt natural for me. I oh, died when you kissed and you went, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Appreciate it. That was great. See you never again. I'm like, oh my God. Thank you, but fuck you. <laughs> Signing off. Yeah. So after that kiss, Goodbye. were you like, this ain't it? Or like, did I the kiss we or the like, dealer? Good. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Like, I'm really vibing with this guy. Like, I felt like we were good. Like, I was actually ready to, like, continue to, like, start stuff and, like, get to know him more. And if the night would have, like, went better than it did, like, he wouldn't have, like, coupled up with Carmen, I was going to cuddle him that night in bed. He clearly missed out. Yeah. And he's going to get the short end of the stick, I think, too. But he snores. So, like, I dodged a bullet on that one. Oh, you sure did. Nobody wants to listen to that. No. Did you hear Leo's sleep talking? Was it Leo? No. I heard I saw it on Instagram though. Like does he talk loud? I don't it sounded loud, but so funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just the microphone from the headboard like projecting it, but shit. I I would die if someone was doing that in the villa. I oh, would no. too. That'd be so entertaining. Like I would actually fuck with them. <laughs> Like I would start like asking them everything. Into, like Ariana conversation with somebody like while they're sleep talking. Just to, I've like, done that before. It's hilarious. Know, see if my ex boyfriend's cheating on me. I'm gonna be <laughs> like, who did you talk to yesterday? Yeah, like a magic eight ball. Who needs to go through a phone when they're asleep? When you have that? <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna be like, 
Cheyenne, Sarah, Julia, and just see if like he, you know, says anything. Just start yelling out names. Stop. And I'm like, I caught you, you dirty <laughs> asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I know you're obviously at your family's cabin now. Like, what else? What's next for you? Oh my gosh. You know, I'm hoping Love Island just calls me and says, "Come on, bitch, get on a plane." I'm just. <laughs> Waiting. Oh my gosh. These do you guys see these bugs right now? I, can I heard hear one them. just now. <laughs> that they're is big. actually wild. It was they're like big fuck. I'm like, yo, they're like on steroids. It's like What's Victor. Are you in Illinois? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going by. I'm gonna ask you who you think's gonna go all the way. Um the end. Keenan and KK. For sure. I feel like right out of the jump, they just had it really good. And, you know, like that physical connection, like attraction was there instantly, which is, I know people don't like to admit that that's important, but it is important. And then, so they had that right away, like that spark. And then like, they just get along so good. You know, obviously Cassie tried to fuck that up a little bit, but I got to get caught up. Hopefully nothing's happened. They better leave my Keenan and KK alone. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they're seem strong. They're solid. They're cruising. Yeah. I love them. They're like literally, they're just the most like down to earth people. You know, they complement each other so well. Okay. Yeah. He's not shady, right? Elizabeth thinks he might be shady. I, think he might be. I, I was getting a little bit of shady vibes, but maybe not. I honestly need to watch the episodes because, you know, like I only knew like what, how he's he was not. like when I was yeah. in there. I was really exactly. taken aback though with like kk like him kind of expressing or not kk with cassie like him expressing some interest and i was like okay that's really weird because like you know like when i would have conversations with him he was just like kk's you know like a gem like she's everything so i don't know i don't like that his head got turned i don't like that he kissed cassie that night too like during that game oh yeah Yeah. was he was he your closest guy friend or was it mark or leo in the villa um they were already Pretty. equal to me yeah honestly um yeah like when we would wake up in the morning i looked forward to like joking around and like just saying stupid ass shit and like they were just like so dope too because like i would say stuff and like they'd just like go off of it like versus like victor like you could tell he's like oh yeah <laughs> yeah girl like what did she just say not him being disgusted yeah i oh, i love you they like actually like laughed at my jokes like they just like got it you know yeah like i'd be like one morning i was like oh my gosh like i just took the biggest shit and leo would be like dude you've been shitting a lot too it's like yo i love you yeah like, you know what i have thank you yeah thank i'm you like i'm taking notice. bond over this <laughs> that honestly <laughs> we need you back in there yeah to bring the peace I- and harmony I'm ready. Like, people keep commenting on my Instagram, and they're like, Jasmine for Casa more. Like, bring Jasmine back. And I'm like, girl, I wish. If Peacock is listening, give her a chance. You know where yeah, she is. Back. Cabin in the woods. Come on. Yeah. She doesn't well, want to go back to her job, so let's let's make this happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to be a Love Island girl for the rest of my life. As you should. And the other thing I want you to put out there is where people can find you on social media, like drop your handles. Where Hell you yeah. At. Yeah. Dude, they're going to need me to spell it. Uh, Cause like okay. my last you can name, do that. Go like, for it. Perfect. Is, you know, it's so long. It's at Jasmine. So it's J A S M I N E and it's Sclavenitis. So Jasmine J A S M I N E S K L A V as in Victor A N I T I S. Yeah, that's a lot. It sounds like a like something you diagnose someone with. Yep. It, mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds like a I medical get, term. I get that in every job interview. It's really Do fitting. you really? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I love it's, it. Oh it's God. a lot. I'm like, I have the sclavenitis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime <laughs> someone falls for you. <laughs> yeah. Like they have it now then too. Oh, people pronounce it so fucked up all the time. And I'm like, yeah, not even close, bro. Thank you so much for coming on here. Everyone check out Jasmine's uh, links. We'll add them below too for you. Jasmine, thank you for coming. This was so much fun. 
love you guys so much this was so fun thank you we for love you being on this journey with me y'all <laughs> hell yeah we're, we're here for the journey and god bless those bugs they're yes. huge and for anyone watching please like subscribe leave a comment down below of what you think of jasmine any you know nashville rex meet up times yeah. any and all of above any hot men in nashville yeah shoot your, shoot shot, your shot in the comments let us know um and jasmine can't wait to hopefully see you soon if you're ever in LA. Yes. Yes, Queens. I Woo! Love Somebody Thank send you. Awesome. Bye.